South Waterfront Festival, which is presented by Billy Bishop Airport, we try to do something new every year. Every third year, we bring the tall ships to Toronto as part of the festival, and they dock all along the waterfront. And this year, we decided, it, because it was Canada 150, we wanted a lot of Canadian uh, programming, and we have the uh, Royal Canadian Navy has brought a 440-foot frigate with uh, free ship deck tours all three days coming along. And then we have the West Coast Lumberjack Show, and we have the Rhythm of the Nation, which is a Canada 150 Fund initiative, a multicultural, interactive music and dance performance. So that's all taking place in Sherburne Common. And then if you come down here to HTO Park, we have the world's largest rubber duck, and we also have a family fun zone and the waterfront artisan market. And to go back and forward between the two parks, we have a free shuttle, uh, courtesy of Hyundai. And so you can get back and forward uh, from one park to the other so that you can see everything. And everything is free. Behind me is a beautiful giant yellow duck, and this is part of the Red Pass Waterfront Festival uh, for this year's uh, 150th anniversary of our beautiful country and a beautiful province. Um, I, as a member, I'm very proud that it's actually here, available for everyone to see and attracting so much tourism here downtown Toronto. And this is what, it, what it's all about. Uh, I'm very proud that the government support uh, for this program and I know the duck will be traveling including Toronto six cities and it's going to uh, be loved by many many especially young children and uh, to me it's, uh, it's a great investment because uh, it's moving uh, maybe hundreds of thousands of people to downtown in the next three days and it's huge boost to our local economy and it will be, it'll be doing the same for the, for the other five uh, township and a city as well. So I'm uh, very happy that we're we're able to see it here, um, to to put t Toronto on the map, and uh, I'm sure news around the world will be talking about Toronto and Canada for the next few days. Back in 2014, I was producing a, a tall ship festival in Los Angeles, and one of our partners there challenged us to build something big in addition to the ships that would create a really great attraction. So that's where the idea originally came from. The duck itself is a little over 61 feet high and weighs 30,000 pounds or 15 tons. Uh, it's about 69 feet wide and about 79 feet long. It takes about four hours to inflate. It's one of those things that um, somebody from anywhere in the world can look at and they know exactly what it is. So it's kind of a global icon in terms of it's a fun rubber bath toy, right? We all can identify with that. But more than that, what we wanted to do with the duck is, uh, in terms of a message, was um, draw attractions to Americas, North America, all of the world's waterfronts, and to enjoy the waterfronts like we are here for this festival and to enjoy it responsibly so our kids and grandkids can enjoy our waterfronts in the future. You know, I'm very proud uh, to be a Canadian and I wasn't born here like many in the city. Uh, we came here from uh, somewhere else and uh, and call this place our home. This year is a very special year, 150th birthday of Canada and our great province. As any Canadian in this country, I'm really happy in celebrating multiculturalism right here. So this year is very unique also because the Red Path Waterfront Festival is going to launch the Ontario 150 Tour. So we're going to have the world's largest rubber duck as well as the West Coast Lumberjack Show and the uh, Rhythm of the Nation program, it will tour to six waterfront communities throughout Ontario. So next weekend it's in Owen Sound and then it goes up to Sault Ste. Marie, comes back down to Midland and Georgian Bay area, then it's out to Amherstburg and then the last uh, port will be Brockville as it finishes the tour. Well actually the festival organizers, the Water's Edge Festival um, event people pick the location. We sort of told them kind of what our uh, our boundaries are what we need to have in terms of power and um, how much space and they were able to figure this out for us. Canada is a very unique country and Toronto is a very unique city. You walk around, you, you see uh, people coming everywhere from, uh, from, from, the, from the globe and that we can live here, work here happily together, no issues. Uh, that's why we're Canadians and that's why it's so special and uh, I was said that uh, only in Canada, only, uh, only Canada uh, on this planet has this kind of environment where it's so inclusive and diversity is celebrated uh, day in day out. So I'm very to, to, very proud to be a Canadian. The number one thing Mama Duck is great for is for taking selfies with people and so I would strongly encourage you know everybody that's in Toronto and the other ports we're coming to in Ontario come down and please take a picture in front of the duck. That would be great. 
So we are hoping that you're going to come down this weekend and enjoy yourself, bring your family, your friends, come and see the world's largest rubber duck, come and see all the programming that we've got, take that shuttle courtesy of Hyundai and have a wonderful time and celebrate Canada's 150th.